Dmitry Dunov's Dmitry team were aware that in order to promote the technology to a wide audience, it was necessary not only to design an electric motor, but to make a final product with a combined winding electric motor. A huge number of prototype models were made, but the field of electric transport has been marked with some noteworthy achievements that I'm going to talk about in more detail. To begin with, I suggest that we talk about a famous electric motor named Dunov's hub motor. Why has it become so popular? First, it is worth noting that it is the world's first induction hub motor. You may say that China produces the same motors, but in fact, it is a completely different motor from the point of view of the applied technology and design. The motors produced in China today are the so-called BLDC electric motors that contain permanent magnets. Permanent magnets, in turn, contain rare earth metals, which are minerals extracted mainly in China. Being a monopolist on the market of this raw material, China is not only increasing the price year after year, it has also banned the export of this raw material from its territory. Thus, in order to produce a BLDC type hub motor, you need to either build a plant in China or buy a ready made electric motor produced in China. Any domestic production is out of question. Moreover, it makes us greatly dependent on China, entire economic sectors, because this raw material is used not only for this type of motors. But even despite all of this, China today can admit the existing demand for these electric motors. After all, the demand for electric motors is in fact rapidly growing along with the demand for electric transport. Let's now proceed to discuss Dunov's hub motor. First, Dunov's hub motor is an induction electric motor, so it does not have any expensive components. The main components are copper and electrical steel that can be purchased in a large number of countries, and they are fairly cheap raw materials. But cheaper does not always mean better, because we also need quality and power in such a motor. And Dunov's hub motor outperforms all the existing rivals in this respect. Firstly, it is much more reliable than the motors made in China today. Induction electric motors are basically the most reliable in the world. And hub motors are no exception. Talking about power, it is worth pointing out that the hub motor produced in China and Dunov's hub motor are intrinsically different. If we take the hub motors with the same weight and dimensions and put them side by side, they will look exactly the same. But the hub motor made in China will have the power of no more than 2-3 kW. Meanwhile, Dunov's hub motor has the power of up to 20 kW at the peak. And I'm talking about a hub motor for an electric bicycle. Actually, there is a whole range of hub motors today. First, there are several hub motors for electric bicycles of different power. There is also a hub motor for an electric motor scooter with a power of 27 kW and a hub motor for an electric car with a power of 18 kW per well. By the way, this is a very popular question. Is it possible to use Dunov's development for four-wheeled vehicles? And of course, the answer is yes. This greatly expands the opportunities for using this electric motor because the development is very efficient for both electric cars and electric motorcycles and bicycles. It explains why so many companies have already turned their attention to Dmitry Dunov's development. And this is just one in thousands of motors that Dmitry Dunov's team is capable of developing. If you're interested in learning more about the Sovelmash Innovative Center, the Project Dunov's Motors and the combined winding technology, visit our official website, the link is provided below this video. And also subscribe to our channel not to miss the next videos.